Hi, it's a beautiful Saturday. And I have a quick craft because I'm cleaning out my garden shed and I found these old spindles and I had an idea. So I'm gonna take you along with. I have a rag to wipe up all the spiders and dust and I have my tote that I'm gonna collect my stuff in. Let's go to the garden shed after you. Okay, here we are. Let's head back there. This is one of my flower gardens. I'm gonna take you on a tour until we get there. All those prettiness. Look at those ferns. Those are from my mom. They're huge. She loved her ferns. Now I do. Peonies. Aren't they gorgeous? And look at them with the white. Everything is getting so big here. Okay, we're on a path. All of that used to be flower beds. I can't take care of them anymore, so it's turning into lawn. That's a new one from this year. A little sitting area, another sitting area. I have a dry creek that turned into a sedum creek. So it goes along. It's supposed to just have rocks in it, but the sedum has taken over the rocks. Except for up there. Oh, I have a tipped over chair from the wind. This is where we just came from. That's my view. Okay, back to the garden shed. Trying to move you slowly so you don't get dizzy. My garden shed has seen better days. It's in need of being torn down, but at this point, it still works. So, I come up to the garden shed and I always pound, just in case there's anyone living inside. Now, this is pretty junky. So, no, no telling me that it's too junky. Look at all this stuff. I gotta find homes for all this stuff. It really seriously does get a home. Okay, I gotta get my stand in here. I'll edit this part out, maybe. <laughs> Look at that fun sign back there. I should get that out of there and utilize it somewhere. If I only had a house it could fit in. Okay, here we are. Okay, we have all these farmhouse benches. I have one, two, three, really long ones. Not even outside yet. I don't know that I have room for them but I love them. So I kept, every time I see one, I just buy it. So when I was in here, I found some spindles. Some have chippy paint on them and some have nothing. This one's old wood. This one has got green. So, I may be a collector of farmhouse benches, but I'm also a collector of spindles. I don't ever throw them away. But what do you do with them? Oh, Julie's designs and signs, she does a lot with them. Here's one on my basket. I took that idea from her and I made a tote. So, I have more in this box over here. Come take a look with me. A big, humongous spindle. It's old, it's rotted. I love it. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this one yet. Another table leg. It's painted yellow. I don't know where the other three are, but I got one. Some more spindles. A 
another yellow spindle. This looks like it's off a crib. Some more spindles. Oh, what else do I got in here? A trash can lid. You never know when you need a trash can lid. Okay, so that's my stash of spindles. I have this many. Look at this deliciousness. Now, would you get rid of these or would you find a use for them? I found one and I don't even ruin them. But I also found these. They're chippy goodness. I'm gonna try and find something to do with these two. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my dusting cloth and I'm gonna wipe off all the spiders. Cause this sat all winter long for the spiders. That and I'm getting some of that chippy paint to come off. I don't want it all to come off, but I do want the extra chunks to come off. Look at these things. Aren't they cute? They had to go on to like a, a porch post or something. All right, I'll wipe the rest of these. This one's kind of long. I'm gonna cut it in half. I'm gonna try it with the jigsaw. I gotta find the center. So what I'm gonna do, it's the same on both sides. That side and that side. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. Number seven is the middle. We're gonna try this. We're gonna try it with the jigsaw. Wish me luck. not pretty but it worked so now we have two shorter ones we'll sand that off I turned them into piles that I want to just preserve the paint, the old paint that's on here. And I have a pile that I want to paint. So these aren't very, they're wood. They're not very fun. This one is a little bit, if it would be that way through the whole thing, I'd leave it, but it's not. So we're gonna ha do a fun paint treatment on these. And these we're just gonna clear. So I'm gonna use the DIY Big Top. It goes on clear. It's a really good protect. It brightens up that wood. So you can put it on with a brush. And then I have another really easy way to put clear coat on that I'll show you. Beautiful. See the difference? All right, you wanna wear gloves for this process because otherwise you won't get the big top off your hands for days. This is a piece of white paper toweling. It is a shop towel, so it's lint free. I got it wet. You can't wring it out. It's just moist. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put my big top on this moist paper towel. And then I'm going to take a spindle 
and rub it with the big tap. More. It's taking some of the paint chips off, but I'm okay with that. All right, there you have it. A spindle, completely big topped, really quickly. We'll do another one. We'll do this white one. I'm gonna put some more big top on this cloth. The more big top that you put on your cloth, the more saturated it's going to be with big top and the less you'll have to add. Dripping it on there. This one doesn't have any grooves, so it's not as hard to do with a brush. So probably do that treatment with this one. But you can put it on like that and then rub over it with the cloth, the big top saturated cloth. And another one, done. These are the stencils I wanted to paint. I painted them all in the white DIY beadboard. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these. I have a plan for one of them, but I don't know that I'm gonna cut it, but I don't know that I wanna cut both. Cause I think I should cut it here and then it can stand. But, and then these two pieces of wood are pretty fun could do something else with them. So I'm gonna cut this one. All right, now we're gonna sand it. What do you see here? Do you see two houses? That's what I see. There were some nails inside here that I couldn't get. And my husband's on the lawnmower, so I can't ask him. So I'm doing the next best thing. Taking a needle nose pliers. And first of all, I straightened them. And uh, I still couldn't get that nail head to pop through. So they're rusty enough. They just bust right off. So now I have the nail head in there and the nail is gone on this side. Sweet. All right, I still have my gloves. So I'm going to use them. I'm gonna take some DIY dark wax and we're gonna vintage these up. I have a paint pixie brush, a little dark wax on the brush. I'm gonna smush a little bit of it onto the lid. And then I'm gonna take one of these brand new ones, just freshly painted white. This is why I'm gonna put my gloves on. Cause I'm gonna, it doesn't matter where I touch it. And I'm gonna get dark wax everywhere. Now I'm gonna take my cloth and wipe it off. All right, that looks more vintagey than this, right? I put them into piles piles of three, which I think that's what I'm gonna do with them. I need them in piles of three. Three just makes them look that much better. They might be a bit long. This is a short pile that I cut. We're gonna dark wax this yellow too. Let's get some dark wax on there.
You want to make sure you get that dark wax in all of those crevices. And then wipe it off. See the difference? I like it. So you can make brand new spindles look old. This spindle right here, this yellow one, is from a child's crib. I just, I didn't need it, the crib anymore. It was no longer safe for a child. So I cut it up. I saved the spindles. I must have used all the other ones except this one. It was hanging out in my garage. All right, here's my pack of three. Just wait till you see what I do with these. All right, so now I got a pile of spindles. Aren't they fun? I got a pile of floral. Aren't they fun? And we're gonna make something. We have a chippy spindle. And we have chippy spindle. I have a fat end and a fat end, and then I'm gonna take a green one and put it on top. Then, I'm gonna take some jute twine. Sweet, don't you think? If you're looking for any DIY paint or IOD products, please visit my website, thepaintedphotographer.com. And again, thanks for watching. Until next time, happy painting.